Coming up in this week's video, I'm going to be talking about the gadgets that we wear, but don't worry, it's not gonna be a geeky video. I'm gonna be asking the question, do they really tell us the whole story? Is what they're recording completely accurate? So before we get to the question of the day, I'm gonna go for a run. That's been a weird week. We've had all sorts of weather. It's been a lot of rain. Actually, we had a lot of dry weather of late, but there was a lot of rain this week. And getting out for a run was really difficult. In fact, on Friday, for example, today's Sunday, two days ago, Friday, I went for a run and I didn't get out until quarter past five because it had been so inclement all day. And just a peak of sunshine at quarter past, I went out, I thought, right, I've got to, I've got to go. And of course it gets dark. I'm recording this in March, it gets dark quite early. So I managed a 4K before I thought I'm really gonna have to give up now before it gets too dark and cold. And home I went, but I was pleased because I didn't think I was gonna get out at all. So it's been a similar day today, today Sunday, and we've had four seasons in one day today. It's been bonkers. We've had sun, um, we've had rain, really heavy rain. But we even had um, hail showers earlier on. And I'm just expecting to turn, go around this corner and see a pile of snow. And I don't know what, it's just mad. So, but you know, it's just the time of year. So I suppose you can't really complain too much about it, but I'm gonna go for a run. And I'm really hoping that I've got time to get a 10K in today because it's just been one of those weeks. I just feel like I wanna go out. And this week, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do something that I don't do that often, which is to just, which I should do more often really, which is just to run for the, for the sheer hell of it. I'm not worried about the time. I'm not worried about any of the metrics or any of that stuff. I just wanna run, just look at the scenery, hopefully not get rained on. That's it today, just, just kind of enjoy myself really. So I'll do that and then we'll have a chat afterwards. See you on the other side. There we are, 10K completed. It was a nice leisurely 10K. I'll stick the times up on the screen. And it was about, what, 105 and a bit. And I actually went on to 10.1 kilometers because last week, the when I did my 10K start, you saw last week's video, the fitness app only showed the first nine, I've right, done 10K, but the fitness app only showed nine kilometers and the splits, there's definitely a bug in there somewhere. I must report that one uh, to, uh, Cupertino, I must do that. Now, let's talk about what I'm gonna talk about today, what I'm gonna cover today, which is to do with sort of the tracking. Now, I know lots of people who watch this, these videos have things like Garmin's and Fitbit's, wonderful devices, but of course the best tech is the tech that you've kind of already got. So, um, I, uh, in the kind of Apple ecosystem, but don't worry, I'm not an Apple fanboy. So if you've got the sort of Android stuff and you use Windows and that, well, that's great, good for you, brilliant. Um, but because I've got an Apple, I've got an Apple Watch and it does sort of fit this stuff, I might as well use that, use the tech I've got, uh, rather than buying something else to do the job that, that it can clearly do. Because so, it can track runs and walks. I'm tracking my walk now. And it can do track yoga and kayaking and cycling and goodness knows what, swimming, goodness knows all sorts of other stuff, which of course all the trackers can do these sort of things. So this is the way that I do it. This is the way that I track things. Just to cover this very briefly, and then I'll tell you why this is a bit strange. So I go for a run, I start tracking the run on my Apple Watch. Now it doesn't matter if I've got my phone with me or not, the watch can do it independently, but at some point uh, it will send the data for my run to uh, my phone, to an app called the Health App. Now from the Health App, it will automatically 
go to something called the fitness app as i mentioned a minute ago and that's the one that i put up on the screen that shows you the uh the times and that, that cut off that time uh last week and only showed the nine kilometers then i can also push a button in strava and that will take the data as well it doesn't take it from fitness it takes it from the apple health app so that's the way it works it goes from the watch into health and then from health it can go to any kind of track any other apps that i want to give the information to so uh, like strava like fitness but it could be any other third party app as well so do you, does that make sense i think in the health app you can that's where you can kind of centrally store all your data so if you have diabetes or something that's where all your data for any measurements that you take will go in there so that's how it works health app's got all the data in it and then from there you can feed it out to other things like fitness like like strava So that all sounds fine, but this is where things start to get a bit odd, because you would imagine that the data that's in the health app and then gets fed out to other things would be the same. However, last week's run, this is why it's, this has kind of come up, last week's run, my first sub hour 10k, I, the fitness app said that I kind of did it dead on the hour, or 59.59 is my best guess, or thereabouts, because it said that my average time was six, minutes per kilometer so dead on an hour or fractionally under because uh, yeah that's how i worked it out it was a shame it didn't have kilometer 10 on there and then i could have actually added it up and i'd have known for definite but but even guessing what that was i can i'm pretty sure that i did dead on the hour or maybe a second under it now according to strava that said that i did the I did the run the 10k in 59 minutes and 53 seconds which is considerably different to 59 minutes and 59 seconds. There, there's a set six second difference going on there. And actually that 53, that, sorry, that 59.53 w- w- includes the time that I went slightly over the 10K, I went fractionally over it. So it's probably a little bit less than that, 59.50 or something. So, so that's a bit weird, isn't it? Because it's using the same set of data and yet it's giving me quite a marked difference. I don't know whether it's to do with rounding, but you would have thought these things would be rounding to at least tenths of a second, if not hundredths of a second, not to seconds. Uh, that seems really odd. So there's something very strange going on there. I think I was tracking separately. If I'd actually pressed the track button in the Strava app, which of course you can do, um, would that have given me something different? I, I don't know, perhaps I need to trial that. Um, but this was actually taking the same set of data and giving me a different result. And I suppose really, if you think about it, these gadgets are using uh, all sorts of tech. They're using GPS mainly, I think, to, to, to test your distance. But um, it shows that there's probably a certain amount of artificial intelligence going on, a certain amount of machine learning, whatever the buzzwords are these days, a certain amount of stuff going on in there with the, with the data, the raw data to then interpolate that or interpret it would probably actually be the right word into what you see on the screen the numbers that you kind of rely on but it's probably not perfect um but at least it's a metric i suppose it doesn't matter if it's not absolutely spot on but i suppose if you're that close as i was last week you kind of want you start to doubt yourself and you think oh was it right have i actually run the sub at hour 10k have i done that or have i not you know, I don't know. I suppose the thing really, and that perhaps this needs to be a new challenge, that what I need to do is I need to get, so I'm really like a good minute at least under that, under that hour. And then I'll know I really, really have done it. But what's your experiences of this? Um, is it something that shouldn't be a surprise to me? This, this, these are um, small gadgets, with, especially watches, that are things that you wear on your wrist, they're tiny little gadgets. So how accurate they can be, I suppose there's gonna be a certain room for error in there. So what's your experiences? What do you think? If I had a load of money, I'd buy a load and test them, but um, I'd, I'd probably be weighed down with all the gadgets, but I can't do that. But it, I'd really know, we'd be interested to know what you think. Anyway, I'm gonna make that do. I need to get back. And I really enjoyed that, by the way. 10K, it was really nice. I do enjoy running 10K. And just actually not really worrying about the time. It was quite a slow time, but just to just kind of look at the, look around. It was a nice day, really. I didn't get rained on in the end. So it was nice just to look around and just, just enjoy being alive frankly it's just just nice to get out and have a run and just to run for the sheer hell of it so i really enjoyed that 
Anyway, so you your comments. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed it, and I will see you next week.